things that has always been great in the river project has been the river team. We've been working with so many talented colleagues. Everyone has been always motivated to make stuff happen, to put in the extra mile and to work towards the end goal that we, that we all wanted. Right now what you see is that the whole team is running towards this moment. So this is the moment we're getting the interceptor in the terminal. So uh, it's the main stage over there. This event is, I think, the crown of the work uh, of something that we did for the last four years. In May 2015, we started the river project. We started it under the radar to be able to move around freely and to be able to test what we want, to design what we want. Um, it's not been easy to keep it secret, but we have managed to keep it secret this far. And at the event, we will show to the world what we've been working on this time. Behind me, the team is preparing our interceptor for the first demonstration that we're going to do. to show you the next step, an important step in our journey. So please join me in welcoming to the stage a man on a mission, Boyan Slat. All right. show you how we'll close the tap or something like that. Today we'll be sharing with you how we're going to close the tap. The structure of the story is um, to basically start to say well we need to close the tap as well. There's two parts to solving this problem you know part one today we'll show you part two. To truly rid the oceans of plastic, what we need to do is two things. One, we need to clean up the legacy pollution, right? So the, the stuff that has been accumulating for decades and, and doesn't go away by itself. But two, we need to close the tap, which means preventing more plastic from reaching the oceans in the first place. Now we'll talk about uh, rivers being the main source of where plastic is coming from. So, where is all this plastic coming from? Well, the answer, it turns out, is rivers. When it rains, plastic washes from streets, 
to creek, to river, to ocean. And to be clear, I mean, this is all real. It's, it's completely insane. And we've just been accepting that this is what's happening day in, day out around the world. So what we need is a product, one system, one integrated solution that you can just buy off the shelf and just works anywhere in the world. What we need is a product, one integrated system that you can bring anywhere in the world, install within days, and that just works. That's the missing piece. That's what we need to close the tab, and it doesn't exist. Until today. And then we unveil the interceptor. The lights go dark, and then you have the, like, the LED lights in the front that I want to kind of go pulsating with music, and, and then the lights on the inside go on, and maybe we should add some colored filter on it so that you get like a nice vibe in here, like a silhouette, and then the spots go on it, and then the, the system gets unveiled. behind me is the Ocean Cleanups Interceptor and it's the world's first scalable river plastic solution. I think the part of the, um, the demo where we're actually putting the machine on, I was thinking how to incorporate that in the speech. Let's bring on the rubber duckies. Like literally rubber duckies. Okay, so here we go. Now the first thing that the plastic encounters uh, when it's flowing through the river is the barrier, which you see over here, which guides the plastic to the mouth of the interceptor. And then what you see over here is the, the conveyor belt, which then scoops the plastic out of the water. The plastic travels into the shuttle, which then distributes the plastic across these six dumpsters. Now, the interceptor can extract 50,000 kilos of trash per day. So, when is it actually going to start cleaning? Remember these videos going viral earlier this year? This was filmed in the beautiful Caribbean country of the Dominican Republic. But after heavy rains, it's crystal clear waters turn into this. All this plastic that you're seeing here is coming out of a single river, the Rio Osama. This machine, this very machine, is going to the Rio Osama. And these images should soon be history. Now, dirty river in. Clean River out. It's, I, it's, well, thank you. Last but not least, I would like to extend a special thanks to a group of amazing people that have worked around the clock to get us to where we are today. Please give a final big round of applause for the Ocean Cleanup team. Come on stage, guys. Come on. It's just so incredible to see that all these efforts finally are starting to pay off and now we're also going to deploy them actually in a place that matters and yeah that's a, just a really proud moment. I can't wait to have this thing actually in a, in a dirty river taking plastic out every day. I think as the ocean cleanup what we're best in is creating technology and creating technology to solve the problem and I really hope that we might be able to show the world a little bit more about 
the actual problem that there is. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's why we all started this job in the first place, to, um, to clean the oceans of plastic. And I think if we can get these a thousand rivers in five years and stop that much plastic going into the ocean in the first place, combined with the systems cleaning the ocean, we've got a real chance at achieving it. Looking good. Looking good.